This is it. The day you've all been waiting for. Well, at least the day I've been waiting for. Um, I've got the Suburban and the trailer hooked up. And I'm going down to pick up my four-post lift. Um, had to rewire the trailer in order to uh, make it legal. Um, it is registered now, so that's good. Still got to get it inspected. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get it on the road. It's uh, it's like 5:30, and uh, I'm driving down to Hudson, New Hampshire, to Greg Smith Equipment, and I'm gonna check out the lifts they have available. Um, there aren't a whole lot of options up here in the Northeast. Uh, or maybe maybe it's that I didn't look hard enough. But uh, I'm gonna go down and check theirs out. I've seen one online that I that I like, so uh, that's what we're gonna do. So on the road. So after much deliberation, I have chosen Lyft, and I am dragging it home. Um, I had originally gone down there, gone down there with um, a specific lift in mind that was extra long and extra tall. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, that one was out of stock. You would th you would ask yourself, why didn't you check the stock? Well, the previous night I had checked the stock on an extra tall lift, and later I was out there measuring and realized that I could fit an extra long, and and I should. And I did not check the stock on that one. Well, it didn't have any. So I went with the original lift that I was thinking about, which is just an extra tall. I almost went with a 9,000 pound instead of an 8,000 pound. Extra tall, extra long, and extra wide. But it did not have removable ramps. You would not believe the amount of just small inconsistencies between lifts that you have to keep track of. Like, some of them have internal locking mechanisms that are hidden. Um, some of them don't. Some of them the ramps remove. Some of them don't. Some of them have casters. Some of them don't. Some have drip trays. Some of them don't. So it's like, there are too many options. Um, so anyway, I have this lift, and I'm going to bring it home. And unfortunately, I can't set it up right away because I have to go to work. Um, but at least I have it. It's on the trailer. I'll probably back it right into the garage, keep it nice and dry, and hopefully set it up tonight when I get out of work. Totally excited! So, here it is, the lift. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like much here, but, uh, yeah, those are the caster wheels, and looks like I got a bunch of drip trays and more things. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how I get it off this trailer. Uh, I've got a couple different options. 
I could hook up some sort of come along and pick it up um, or I could use my forks on the backhoe or I could just open it on the like pull the trailer forward open it and then take it out piece by piece which is probably what I'll do but yeah totally psyched ah oh, this garage has been waiting for this lift for a very long time so anyway thanks for watching